Right, um, back in the day, I was there, it was me, two boxes from Marty Paul. We got a debt um, off a bloke to get from your money to somebody from, from Wakefield. And the lad was from Wakefield. So we goes to Wakefield. One was a pro boxer, really good boxer, fought for the British heavyweight title. And the other one was a sparring partner for him. Big, strong lad, both going there. So on the way there, we're having a laugh and joke. And we pulled in, we, we um, got like a bit of food in the morning. We went early. So we're having something to eat. And one said, oh, he's a big lad, isn't he? on about me? So I was 24, so he went, oh, yeah. And the lad who was with Terry was funny, he went, not Terry, they got another Terry from Martin Paul. He said, uh, oh, he's the world, Brian there, he's the world's champion pie eating competition, man. <laughs> he can get more pies than anyone in one go. He said, I'm the European one. And this one's, he's, he's the, the British one. We're going to a pie eating competition in uh, Sheffield, I think he said. <laughs> so the one's going, he's really, and he was, I was just, I was like that, no, couldn't stop laughing. I said, shut up, you're being mental, you <laughs> But it was funny. So on the way down, we were having a bit of camaraderie as you do. So we get there. So this lad, bit of a fighter in the area, bullying this bloke, and he owed him money. So he, I think it was £1,200. If we got it, we're getting £600. But £600 in them days was a hell of a lot. £600 now is a lot of money, but in them days, it was a hell of a lot of money. You're talking 30 odd years. I think it was 1992, it was. We went down. Uh, so anyway, we goes down and uh, we're looking for the lad. So Dave's known that way because he was a pro boxer. So he goes into a pub. And lo and behold, I was still stood at the bar. I, I didn't I didn't go in the pub with them that time. But what happened, they went in the pub. And I, I just outside, I was eating something. And then I got up and I come out. He said, he's just offered Paul Sykes out there. And I, I said, oh, Paul Sykes? I didn't really know Paul Sykes, you know. I didn't know till, till, till I got told the story later on. And Dave said, oh, it's just about you. Want to have a fight with me, tell the Spencers. Because the Spencers were middle of the boxing promoters who did both of them. He worked for both of them. Now um, Sykes came to Middlesbrough. I don't know if it was a gentleman's do or something he was doing. He was there and he was, I think he was speaking on stage. And then somebody stood up in the Middlesbrough and said, Sykes, still raping the YPs in Durham, you dirty bastard. He went, who said that? He went, I fucking said it and jumped up. Then another one said, I said it as well. So two of them stood there. Then a traveller jumped up and said, hey, I'll fight you. And the next minute the Spencer's had to get him out with the door and out the back door and get him out so his fucking ass went again. Every time he got fronted, but anyone who could have a fight, his ass went. And the other time his ass went, he was in um, Wakefield drinking in a pub. And what he used to do, Sykes, he was a horrible man. And the Seth Penn who written about him, he said he, he, he was laughing at this thing that was funny. So he used to go in pubs and he'd go, <laughs> and spitting people's pints. People go, oh, I'll push it away. And I, I know a friend down there, Dale, and another couple of lads, Simon, that who knows these stories are true, 100%. And the lad called Terry, another, funny enough, another lad called Terry, could have a fight this Terry. He, was, he said, what he was, Brian? Terry was one of them people who'd have a fight with you. He knew he couldn't beat you, but he'd still have a fight. It was a proper game. So Sykes is in this pub, and it's like a family pub where you know you have a meal, like where you all sit and you have a meal at the pub, like a Sunday afternoon, and all the family's there. And this bloke's there with his wife and kids and that. He went, here, yo, come here. And they're all scared of him, you know. So he said, come here, I said. So he said, go to that pool table there. So he made the man stand on the table and sing, he can read, he can read, doc. The mouse ran up the clock. And the so-called author was laughing at that. I thought, you're not right in your head, you. So that man and his kids and everything were crying, and everything, his wife had been crying, and all this horrible, evil thing was selling to do that. And then he did the same thing with another lad called Terry in the pub one night. He tried to do it with him. So Terry went, as he stood at the bar, Terry was stood. And he seen him coming over and he'd done the same thing, spitting in people's drinks. He was known for doing it. People are telling him where it feels. So Terry grabbed the bar stool and fucking smashed him right across the face with it and battered him and battered him and put him in hospital for weeks and weeks, might be months. And he never ever went back in that pub and never ever confronted that lad. Terry, who was a fighter, but Sykes could, was 10 times a fighter with him. But because the bully got battered, he knew this lad would never give in. One of them, you, you come with your fists, in the, like the film. He'll come with a knife. If you come with a knife, he'll come with a gun until one he's a dead. This this lad looks like that. So that was Sykes, the bully. He was terrible, known for bullying people. But I've got a story, a story as well about Sykes. But I'll leave that for later, and I'll speak to you again. Don't forget to push the like buttons, guys. It helps us with all the trolls. It just it makes destroys them. So we tell the truth, and there's more to come. God bless.